Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. One of the great things about Anime Studio is the ability to create 2D cartoons in a 3D environment. So with this, we are allowed to shift our assets closer or further away from the camera, so when the time comes and we can move things around, we can have that parallaxing effect, and it's pretty cool. The problem with this, though, in the past was, let's say, for instance, you set up a scene like this, you're good to go, you have everything sized how you want it, and then you realize, oh, well, shoot, I forgot to actually do the actual depth process of this. I forgot to go into my transform layer tool, go up here to the top bar and adjust my Z properties so that for instance the character is closer to the camera or the bush is a little bit further away from the character and so on and so forth. So what you could do then of course in the past was come up here enter a number let's just go 0.3 you know bring him a little bit closer but that would then disrupt your original composition because he was resized. And you could do the same with the Alt key on your keyboard. If you hold down Alt, you can um, basically put these further or closer to the camera. But when you release, oh, well, there you go. Um, at the top, it's changed, but it's resized on the canvas. So then you have to go in and manually resize. And, you know, that can take some time. And especially if you are fond of what you had before, it's just kind of a process. So now, since Anime Studio 9.5, we have what is now called depth shifting, which has really changed the way we can work with these things. It makes things a lot easier. So now, with a layer selected, I can take the Transform Layer tool and hold in Shift and then Alt. And then, let's say I want to push him further away from the camera. You can see he's getting smaller, but when I release my mouse button, he snaps back to his original size. However, at the top, the Z property has changed. We're almost at negative one. So depth shifting allows you to compose your shot how you want it without worry of you know the whole depth thing. And then afterwards, you can go in here and just very easily hold in Alt and Shift, you know, and move your assets backwards and forwards. And I wouldn't probably <laughs> move the bush that far back you would have probably want to um, you know, take some time here and correct this. And you can see I can correct this. I'm just nudging it forward bit by bit and it's changing the, um, the property of the Z position each time. So I could really go in and fine tune that and get it just where I want it. So be sure to check this feature out if you plan to build your scenes with depth and you don't want to spend more time rearranging your objects on screen after applying your Z positioning properties. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.